There are three major enhancements to the whole feature in Creo Parametric 4.0. Let's start off by creating a hole, and I'm going to locate it on this surface. And let's go with a smaller diameter. And I can hold down the right mouse button and activate my offset references collector to dimension it from a couple of references. And I can right click over the depth drag handle to change to through all. So far, all of that was in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier versions. What's new in Creo Parametric 4.0 is that you might have noticed when I held down the right mouse button, there's this additional option in the right mouse button menu called Whole Orientation Reference Collector. And you can also get to that from the placement tab on the dashboard. What this means is that your hole no longer has to be normal to your placement surface. You could use a reference like this datum plane to drive the direction of the hole. And this is nice because it saves you from having to create a whole bunch of other additional datums like you would have needed to in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier. That's good, we can hit the check mark or the middle mouse button to finish off the first hole. For the second enhancement, I'm going to turn on my datum point visibility. And so I have some datum points in the model. And if I rotate the model, you can see that these holes are located above my geometry. In Creo 4.0, I can use those to locate new holes. Back in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, if you wanted to locate a hole on a point, it had to be an on-surface point. That point had to be located on model geometry. That is no longer a restriction in the software. For example, let's say I create a hole and I'm going to select one of my datum points, point zero. And right now, the hole is being created normal to the reference on which the hole, excuse me, the point is located. If I hold down the control key and select this surface though, you'll notice that the orientation of the hole changed. It is being created normal to the surface at that location, just as if I'd done an on point hole in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier. And just like we saw, you could hold down the right mouse button to activate the whole orientation reference collector and select something like a datum plane to drive the direction of the hole that is located on that datum point. That's good. Again, we can hit the check mark or middle mouse button for that hole. For the third hole, I'm going to create it inside of that small channel there. Let's create the hole and locate it on this surface. I will hold down my right mouse button to activate my offset references collector. I'm going to use the datum plane called right and this front surface over here. If I go to the placement tab on the dashboard, I actually don't want a dimension from the datum plane called right. I can choose a line and get a zero dimension. And let's use a standard hole. And I want this hole to be, let's use a quarter dash 20. And I want this hole to have a counterbore. If I go to the shape tab, you can see that the counterbore has a diameter of 0.4375. If I zoom out, you'll notice that my counterbore is bigger than the width of the channel. And so if I wanted to create a fastener taking or place a fastener taking advantage of that counterbore, I wouldn't have be able to do it as the model is right now. I'd have to create an additional cut so that I would be able to clear the hole. In Creo Parametric 4.0, you now have an option for what's called top clearance. And you can see that as an option I can check from the shape tab. Also, if I hold down the right mouse button and check top clearance, I'll do that in a second. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what happens. If I hold down the right mouse button and choose top clearance, it automatically removes the material above the hole so that I could place the fastener here 
without any problems. Let me hit the check mark and I want to show you a config.pro option related to that. If I go to File, Options, and then Configuration Editor, let's hit the Find button and search on the keyword Hole. There is an option called Default Hole Top Clearance. The default value is Auto. Personally, I prefer the option to be set to Yes, so I can add Change that. And let's export my config.pro file to my default working directory. And now I have that option default hole clearance set so that every time that I launch Creo Parametric, it's going to remember that I want my holes created with top clearance. I hope you find those three enhancements in Creo Parametric 4.0 useful. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.